Okay, in this video, I want to show you some hints and tricks to programming in RS Logix 500 that could hopefully help you to speed up your process in programming and just so you can add I.O. in a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and I'm going to start off by adding a rung. And I'm just going to add a normal input in here, for example. Call this green push button. Okay. Now, and I'll add an output. call this yellow light okay now if you need to program in one rung that looks exactly like the other there's an easy way to do that you can highlight the rung here right click and select copy okay and then come down to the next rung and hit paste and you have a rung that looks identical and then all you'd have to do is change some of the inputs red push button come down here click here change this to two and name this green light and that's a that's a real quick hint you can do if you have if you have uh, rungs that look very similar and this can be as big of a rung as you need it to be another way to do this is to actually click on it hit the control button and then drag that down so instead of the need for right clicking you just highlight it activate the control button and then drag it down you can also delete entire rungs by clicking over here and it will delete everything okay now let's say you want to copy an input so one of the ways you can do this is you can right click copy come over here and paste or you can hit the control C and control V but a quicker way to do it is to actually click on the input press and hold the control button and drag it down now do you see how this just copied over because usually if I were to grab this and drag it down it would just move it okay which is also a really neat trick but uh, when you hit the control button it actually copies it it doesn't just move it and another trick I want to emphasize here and this was something that I've already done if you've identified something as like your green push button and you want to create another rung and you want to use a yellow push button what you can do is you can add the inputs and outputs and you can actually just click on the address of one that has the same slot number drag it down and you can double click on the bottom you can change this input just by doing that and those are some quick hints and tricks for uh, that can help speed up the process when you're programming, especially if you already know the logic or the logic's been handed to you and you're just copying it down.